Hello, boys and girls. We are going to learn some numbers. So I have a new number that we're going to learn and talk about today. In order to figure out what that new number is, let's count together from the number one. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. And that is the number we're going to talk about today, the number sixteen. So here is what the number sixteen looks like. And to make the sixteen, we need to start at the top, make a straight line down, start at the top again, curve back to the left and keep going all the way back around. One and a six together, make the number 16. Okay, it's very important to know what 16 looks like in, in counters. So I always like to show 16 counters. In order to make 16 counters, I'm going to use my tens frames. Do you think one tens frame will be enough to show 16? Nope, it will not be enough. We need both tens frames. So here's one, there's one, my, one of my tens frames, and here's the second one. I can use these two tens frames to show the number 16. Okay, when I put my counters in, I work from left to right. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I, when I get to the number ten, I can also see that my first tens frame is full. But I'm not done counting. Here we go. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. This is what the number 16 looks like. One full tens frame and another tens frame with some counters in it. The, is, this, is the bottom tens frame full? It is not. The bottom tens frame only has some counters in it. So let me show you what those two tens frames look like. Here, here we go. So it's one full tens frame and one more tens frame with some counters in it. Okay, it is time to make our addition sentence. This number of counters plus this number of counters. How many counters are in my first tens frame. Well, it's full, so I know that it must have 10. And there's the number 10. Okay, plus how many counters in this tens frame? If you're not sure, we can count. Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six counters in my second tens frame. And what is 10 plus 6? How many is that equal to? Well, if you're not sure, we can count. I'm not going to count all of these counters because I already know that there's 10. So I'm going to start with the number 10 and count on. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, our number of the day. So what is 10 plus six? It equals 16. That is very important, boys and girls. Let's read that together. Here we go. 10 plus six equals 16. Great work, boys and girls. Now I'm going to take these numbers, my 10, my 6, 
and my 16, and I'm going to put them into a number bond. Did you remember that word, number bond? Take a look at my number bond. This is what a number bond looks like. One big circle at the top and two little circles at the bottom. We call this number the whole and we call these numbers the parts. My whole number is the big number. That's the number of the day. Here's my big number, 16. I'm going to put that right at the top of my number bond. Now the two parts are the numbers we need to make our whole number, to make our 16. So 10 and six are the parts. Here we go, let's watch the 10 go into the number bond and the six go into the number bond. We can say, 10 and 6 is 16. Nice work, boys and girls. Okay, so it's time to get to work. I need you to take out a piece of paper and a pencil. While you're doing that, I'm going to take out my piece of paper and my pencil, and that way I can write with you. So here's my pencil. Let's see, wake it up. All right, is it working? Let's see. Let's see what's going on here. Oopsie. A little bit of technical difficulty, boys and girls, but that's okay. I'm gonna get my paper up and running for you. Let's see if it works now. There it is, perfect. Okay, so I am on my paper now. And may, hopefully that gave you some time to get your paper ready too. Remember, if you don't have a piece of paper, um, you can use a notebook, or anything that you have. Um, you can use a pencil, crayons, marker, whatever you have at home. Okay, in order to make the, the, in order to do the work, we're going to start by making the number of the day. The number of the day was the number 16. And how do I write the 16? Why don't you try it first? Okay, it was a one and a six. If you got the 16, great work, boys and girls. Now we are going to make 16 counters, but I'm not going to just draw 16 counters on my paper. I need to make the counters nice and neat. And the way that I do that is by making a tens frame. Now I am going to try my best to make a nice neat tens frame. If it's easier for you, you can draw boxes or you can ask an adult for help. One, two, three, four vertical lines so that I have 10 boxes. Okay, it is time to start making counters. Will you count with me? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Are we done? No, we're not. Let's keep counting. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Now, boys and girls, I did not draw a second tens frame, and that is okay, but I'm still going to draw my counters in a nice straight row, nice and neatly, with only five across. So I don't need to draw another counter here. That's not the right spot. When we're making it in the shape of a tens frame, we only draw five across, and then we go to the next line. Now, if it helps you, you can draw a second tens frame. But Mrs. Savage chose to draw just one tens frame. And then my next counters, I put them in, in, equal, in two nice and neat rows with no more than five in the row. I think tomorrow our number will be so big, I think I will draw two tens frames. 
but let's let's continue on with just the, the the counters the way that I have them. Okay, so now we have the number 16. We have our 16 counters. It is time to draw the number bond. In order to make your number bond, you need a nice big circle at the top, two little circles at the bottom, and we're going to connect them with diagonal lines. Okay, which number goes at the top of my number bond in the big circle? It is the number 16. That is our whole number today. That's the number we're learning. Now, what are the two parts that we learned for the number 16? Well, let me show you. Here is one part, and here is the other part. How many counters are in my first part, in this first tens frame right here? If it's full, it's 10. Whenever a number, uh, a tens frame is full, we know that it has 10 counters. How many counters are in the second part here? If you're not sure, you can go back and count. Let's do that together. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six counters in my second part. Okay, remember boys and girls, we have part, part, whole, 10, and six make 16. And I can use those numbers to make a number sentence. So let's see, part, part, whole. I need my first part is 10. This was the first part, 10 counters, plus my second part was this one, the number, Six, and what is that equal to? 10 plus six equals, how many counters do we have all together? 16. It's very important for you to be able to read a number sentence. Will you go back and read this number sentence with me? Here we go, 10, plus six equals 16. Great job learning the numbers, the number 16 today, boys and girls. Keep up the good work, I'm so proud of you.